Okay guys, welcome once again. So in this video, I'm going to talk about multi-output AUV3 plugins. So as you can see, in this case, I already have two uh, tracks loaded. One is for Digistakes and the other one is for Drumbo. So for you to add a Drumbo multi-out, you need to tap on, obviously, create, and then go to audio units and then scroll down to where it says Drumbo, eight out, right? And then you choose that. So now, for example, as you can see, I already have that loaded and I have this, um, pattern in there if I tap on um, part number one you can hear sound right if I tap on part number two three you don't hear anything that is because there's no um, as you can see over here it says external out but obviously we have only just one track of Drumbo so to get sounds from the other outputs of Drumbo you need to tap on where it says Drumbo here and then go to where it says output boss as you can see it says one over here so tap add seven tracks. So that's going to add seven tracks of Drumbo. If you have a close look, the first track has a single Drumbo image and the rest of them have like a double image. So the top one and the bottom one, as you can see right here, right? So now if I go back into the, onto the first track and tap on the second part, third, you can now hear audio. So if I play, you can hear. Okay, so now you can go in and add a reverb to the clap, right? So I've, if you've noticed uh, right now, as you can see, the send level shows you the decibel, right? So the dB value. So now you can be more um, precise when you set on the send level, as you can see. So another way of adding the multi-output um, buses, if, for example, I, on, in this case, I have Drumbo selected, right? So all I need to do is select that track and tap on add and midi so that is going to create another bus so for example now this is bus number one as you can see and the newly created track is bus number two right so now obviously you can change obviously you can change the the, the, the you can change the number of the bus anyway right from the input you want it to come from right so number two and then we can go on add and then this is number three and so forth so another way of adding multi output bosses is go now you can go is um tapping on add midi you tap on the icon the tracks icon you go to audio units multi out instances and then you choose the um the plugin for which you want the multi out um instance so in this case i can go in and choose digistics for example and as you can see, I have this new track, and that's going to be, uh, if I go into Digistix, bus number two, right? And I have bus number one over here. So, yeah, it's easy. I don't know if it's if it kind of makes sense. <laughs> it's pretty much easy. The way it's set up is pretty much easy in Cubase. So you just go in, you either tap on the seven, right? Or go in uh create the the output yourself right or go in like in this case add a new midi instrument track and then go in and choose the multi out and then choose the one you want to create the multi out for so one thing i did mention earlier is that you can also change the output bus like you can change you can choose which channel you want the audio to come from right so for example i have this simple track again so you, you cannot hear the kick, but you can hear the other drum elements, right? So all you need to do is go in, right? Long tap on the kick. Choose, um, in this case, it's already set to output bus 2, right? So if I go in now and add a new MIDI track, that is going to create a multi-bus of digistakes and it's set to output 2. So now you're going to be able to hear the kick. So as I was saying, you cannot you can change the number of the bus, right? So for example, now let's go in and create a new track. So MIDI track that is track three, and the output is three, right? I can click on that and choose two. So now I'm going to hear the kick on both track number four and track number three. So have a listen. Do 
but obviously that is going to create phase issues so what you might want to do is go into track number three and then change the output to for example one right or just you know mute that track or you know take it all the way down or what i could do is go into the first track long tap on the on the on the clap options and choose output number two right so now i can go in here set it back to number two and have the clap come from here so let's bring it all the way back up Three and two. Ooh, two. This is three. Oh, my bad. Yes, yeah, because I have both the kick and the <laughs> and the clap on the same thing. So let me choose this. Let me put this back to three, and let's go in and put the kick on outputs. So let's put the kick on outputs number three. There you go. So let's close this, and now it should work as. Yeah, so that is all for multi-out and uh, catch you on the next one.